The, the first blast went off over to my right, about 10, 15 meters. I was in the back of the Delta check-in line. And the blast was really loud. It, it even lifted my body uh, a little bit. And I remember feeling a lot of, you know, a lot of really hot and really cold feelings on the whole right side of my body. I was, I was covered in a, a fair amount of blood and um, not necessarily mine even. I remember seeing, you know, fire in front of my face and also kind of fire down by, by my feet on the ground. And we, we were really close. I feel lucky to have escaped with what I did. You know, I, as I ran out of the airport, the second blast went off, and um, <coughs> I, was, I was sitting there on the, on the sidewalk outside the airport, um, sitting in my own blood. And there was a feeling of calm and, and peace that, that I had, and it was beyond just the physical shock that I had. And I attribute that to, to the presence of God, and I... I I lived some very personal um, experiences during that, that horror ordeal. And, you know, if there's anything I've learned, it's that, you know, if God, he can, he can hear the prayers that I was, I was giving out on that sidewalk as I was laying down. I know that he hears the prayers of everyone. And, you know, if there's anything I've taken out, it's that there's someone greater than us that, that's watching over us. And again, those are, those are personal things that I, I've lived myself with. I just hope that the families of those that were injured and also those that were hurt themselves, um, they feel the prayers and, and the love that others have for them and, and how much you know, we feel for them. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and then click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.